this seemed less arduous than setting up <laughs> apps. And I know that seems so counterintuitive, but I'm a pretty visual and creative person. And so this to me was almost a creative process where I was getting to create my own schedule and my own things. I've made this system work for me, which is huge. I'm Misty Winkler, author of Simplified Organization, Learn to Love What Must Be Done, and How to Use the Planner Without Wasting Time. And today we have the first ever guest interview on the Simply Convivial Show. I have my friend, Abby Wall. Abby is a homeschooling mom of five teens. She has two graduates and three still being homeschooled. She helps in the spring at the family farms in the barns with lambing and feeding a large family and a crew. She podcasts with her good friends on the Scully Sisters podcast, and she loves reading heavy books and lifting heavy weights at the gym. So thank you for joining me, Abby. Oh, I'm happy to be here. And I didn't know I was going to be the first guest ever. <laughs> very, uh, very special. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So if we have listeners to the Simply Convivial podcast who don't know, I have another podcast besides Scully Sisters, where Abby is also a co-host with me and Brandy Vensel. I also have the Simplified Organization podcast, which is all interviews. And Abby has been on that podcast before. And you definitely want to check that out if you haven't. We also have more episodes on the Daily Card and all kinds of just average, normal, everyday moms sharing their everyday tips and ideas and insights about managing a home and family life. But here on Simply Convivial, this whole month about, we're doing a series on planning with index cards. And so I knew I had to bring Abby on because she's been doing um, an iterated new idea plan. I mean, it's really an old school plan for keeping track of routines. So Abby, tell us about how you're using index cards this year. Okay, well, um, I decided I wanted to go away from a traditional planner and I wanted to get off of my phone a bunch and I needed some better routines. But I was missing things like, you know, cobwebs and vacuuming the stairs, like these bigger tasks that need to happen, but they don't happen daily. And sometimes they don't even happen weekly. And yeah. so I was just trying to revamp my system and it didn't really need to be in a planner and planners. I don't know if you've noticed this, but they've gotten real expensive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like everyone says you need this planner and you need to spend a lot of money to buy it. And I was just like, I, it's just paper and places to put things. And I just don't know if I need to do that right now. Um, so I would rather buy books than um, more expensive planners that I end up throwing away because clutter is real. And there was a blog post on Simply Convivial, but I picked up this old school <laughs> yes. track home executives. And I mean, it is dated for sure, <laughs> but I love their style. They even have like poems about homemaking in there. They're cheerful. They have a ton of energy. And I love that because um, I really need homemakers in my life to be excited about their, their lives. I don't need more. Uh, I don't need another message about how hard it is because I have chosen this life and I want to live it to the fullest. And not that there aren't days that are terrible, no good, very bad days, but I don't want to sit in that. I don't want to dwell in that. I want to organize my attitude and learn to love what must be done. As my friend says, <laughs> I read this book and then I found a gal on YouTube too, that was doing this. And I was like, Oh, these are great. You have these index cards and you have days and weeks, and then you just shuffle through them. And one of the things that um, I'll show you my little stack. I found this great gal on Etsy who actually had pre-printed ones, mm -hmm. which looks so good. And I can print it on um, laser printer paper, which is very smooth. And I like good paper and I like good pens. Um, and so I just made it and I had to cut it all out myself because you just print it. But I actually find that incredibly 
like meditative and wonderful to cut things out. It's like going back to the best part of kindergarten where you got to cut things, <laughs> paste things and organize them and make them look beautiful. So I actually had a lot of fun with that because I could just watch something on YouTube, cut them out, listen in the background and felt like I was accomplishing something. So it had like all of these different tasks, like mop, sweep, um, rotate the laundry and they were color coordinated. So daily tasks were one color, um, week, bi-weekly tasks were a different color. Obviously I had to print and cut and things like that, but this was a low level investment for a big payoff. And what I found is my kids actually really loved these task cards because they had nice little graphics on them. And so I would just pass them off and then I could always skip it. And like today, that's not going to work. I'm going to skip it to the next day or the next week. And um, their rule in here is if you skip it three times, then you have to do it. Um, and I love that because it's like, you know, this is a normal thing. Like sometimes you just do not have the time or the capacity or the energy to mop your floor, but you could probably spot mop and it'll probably be okay. So um, I printed off these things. And the great thing is, is she has like a little calendar even. So I put like mm -hmm. important dates, like my son's 16th birthday was this week. Each month, she suggests that on the little card, you actually do a monthly reflection it's almost like a little bit of a journaling. So it's like just a kind of a fun way to look at your day and do that. And then in between those days, you put your tasks. So I have different chores and things like that. This week, I have a clothing swap. The other one that we have this week is um, I wanted my car cleaned out right? Get these things. And then I have also donations. And then I have a card that's like return library books. And then of course I have my daily card that just goes in there. And I have my little cute printed off um, heart stickers and an overview of the week. So I always do a weekly review or most days or most weeks. And so I had the big events so that I wouldn't forget it because I forget things if I do not write them down and I do not look at them. So I just look at this in the morning, shuffle through what I'm doing for the day. And at night I will write my reflection and shuffle through what's happening the next day. And it has been great. So I then how many cards is that things like returning library books is its own card that you rotate through or you're adding like just yeah. as needed? Yeah, I have some that are like as needed, but I do stick it in weekly because I almost always have books from the library. It's not necessarily an every week thing, but I do put it through because it is good for me to go to the library and make sure I return things or just go to the library. Sometimes it says return books to the library, but sometimes it just means go to the library and enjoy them. <laughs> enjoy it. What are my favorite ones is I have my vocation statements and I have like little alignment cards, which we talk a lot about here. I'll flip through those and I have some really great quotes um, just to remind myself of truth and so that I am keeping the right things in front of my face. And that's really helpful. And this is my favorite card that I would look at every time. And it yeah. is the season to be impervious. I made this um, during Christmas and I kept it because it's just wonderful. Oh yeah. Here, like weekly, there's like a little bookkeeping and budget date. So I have that so that I'm keeping on top of finances or talking to my husband about, you know, the things that we need. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's formal, but it's just like reminding me of these tasks, right? This one, like this is one of the pre-printed ones. It says every other day, you are going to vacuum for 30 minutes. I'm not going to vacuum every other day for 30 minutes. I have mostly hardwoods, but it is good for me to throw in a vacuum because I need to get my rugs and things and my bedroom and things like that. So I'll put it in there so that I can have that. So it's just stacks of these little things. And I basically, when I do my weekly review, I just go through my week and put cards in which days I think are going to fit. But remember, this is great because I can always skip it ahead or skip it ahead another week. And it's just super helpful to me. So yeah. It's... So then with the rule that like you can't skip things three times, do you mark on yeah, it? Yeah, there's a little, I just do like a little tally mark on the backside of the card. And that's just an easy way to do it. And I know which ones I avoid. <laughs> yes. So 
um, I kind of, I try to do it as soon as I possibly can. Um, but there's definitely weeks that it just doesn't work, but the ones that I'm avoiding, I usually like will put in the front of the week and I will actually just skip it to the next day. And every day that I have to see it, it's just reminding me. And so it just feels like I have, it's basically giving me a little accountability, right? And then it has like a little picture of a mop, <laughs> happy and cheerful. And so I'm like, oh yeah, I have to mop uh, one of these days. I'll, I'll get to that. Okay, <laughs> or so sign it. So. so show us what you are, how you're storing them. How are you keeping them contained and organized? Yeah. So I got this little like zipper bag. I got a whole set of them and I they come in all different sizes and they were, I don't know, for like 25 of these bags in different sizes. I put your sticker on there. <laughs> and it's just a little zipper bag that goes with me. And then I have like the extra ones that I'm not currently using or don't work in this season. Um, I have them in a different little, like um, almost like one of those old recipe boxes. So oh yeah. I didn't, I didn't grab that. Um, but yeah. And then I just throw it in my purse or my little cute Trader Joe's bag. Um, and it goes along with me in the car and this keeps it just really um, compact. And then I usually can throw a pin in here and then I have some extra blank cards if I need to write anything down. You know, that's pretty small to fit in a purse. So that's basically your planner right there in the zipper yeah. pouch. Yeah. Yep, it is. And those cutouts had like tabs that looked like. So yeah, they, they have the tab daily sections. tabs. A gal who I bought these from, from Etsy, she actually gives you access to make your own cards on Canva. And I've been playing around with those too and making my own, which is why I got the little thing. So, but she has it all sized and everything and it's, it's great. So yeah, that's super fun. Yes. And, um, it's working, it's working. That's the main thing. You know, what I actually really too love about this is if I don't do it for a week or whatever, I'm not wasting a bunch of pages of pre-printed planner pages yeah. or messing up my weeks on, you know, cause they're usually like quarterly planners now, um, or the ones I was using. And it's just nice to have the freedom to say, yeah, I don't need to right now. Or mm -hmm. I can take a lot of things out like this next season coming up. I'm probably not going to have a ton of those things in there, but I'm going to have a few things because I want to write down, you know, what we did, the big thing of the day. And then maybe like if we have appointments or something, something like that, that I need to keep on my radar. I like how you can capture on it and keep it flexible and make it fit without like it's low stakes. Yes. And low space. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I love the flexibility and the spontaneity of it. Actually right now in this season of my life, I actually do need a lot more freedom and, um, flexibility and it almost like, you know, sometimes the, the tools you use actually shape the way you do things. And if I'm needing to be more flexible and less perfectionistic, this is a great system for that because, it doesn't have to be perfect and it doesn't have to be um, rigid, right? And this is not rigid. This is like papers that you shuffle in a deck <laughs> and um, and I can throw things out and start over again and it doesn't matter. And if my whole week went to in a hand basket, then I can just take all those cards and put them for the next week, which happens. The main thing I wanted to do is um, be less on my phone, right? I had tried a few like digital apps, which I know so many people love it. Um, but I just have a tendency to just get sucked in to my phone. And for me, I needed to have less things. Like there's some great apps that you can do that have recurring tasks and they bring you notifications and all that stuff. This seemed less arduous than setting up <laughs> apps. And I know that seems so counterintuitive, but I'm a pretty visual and creative person. And so this to me was almost a creative process where I was getting to create my own schedule and my own things. I've made this system work for me, which is huge. Yes, that's awesome. That's wonderful. And I will put the links in the show notes for those different resources that you yes. mentioned. I'll get the link for the Etsy from you. Thank you, Abby. This was very fun. And I hope that everyone watching like your idea ideas are sparking to just try something, experiment and do something low key, low stakes to just get the ball rolling.